Today I'm going to take you on a journey of exploration. The husband is creeping in here. So we are going into <laughs> we are going into a liquidator uh, today to find out what kind of items they have. And it's, I can't be serious <laughs> with ding dong sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> we're, at, <laughs> we're at a place called Barton's Discounts, and we are going to see what they have inside. Um, probably, <laughs> I'm expecting quite a few uh, different palettes and, and things to kind of explore. So we're going to go inside and do some more vlogging um, inside to see what we can find. Maybe I can get him to behave. I highly doubt it, but maybe we'll see. So um, we'll catch you inside. Over the weekend, we took a little adventure to a new place here in Indianapolis called Barton's Discounts. Barton's Discounts is a company that purchases truckloads of product that are items, maybe returns from Amazon, uh, returns from Target, we found some, uh, Home Depot, different places such as that. They also had furniture within this store that you could buy at a discounted price. Many of the pallets that we found there were packed full of product and the prices on them were phenomenal. If you want to see some more detail about uh, the experience at Barton's Discount, please check out my husband's channel, Franchise Kicks as he recently posted a live or a video of us live in the uh, Barton's Discount store. So you can see more about what the warehouse looked like that had all of the product. While we were in there, we found a area that had individual boxes of items that you could purchase and I found two boxes of health and beauty products that kind of interested me. And uh, I'm not into buying the full palette yet. I'm looking to get more comfortable with reselling. And so I wanted to take it a little smaller. So this is an opportunity for people to kind of just dabble into reselling without um, taking the huge gamble of a large palette that's very expensive. I got two health and beauty boxes for $48 a piece. So you can see inside the top of this box, which was nice. So you could kind of pick out, at least from the surface, some of the things that were intriguing. I'll show you from the top of the box. This is what it looked like. And so there were some items just on the top that I thought, hmm, this could be interesting for reselling, maybe for keeping some of the items just to go through on this channel and kind of take a look and see what we have. So I'm gonna get started into this box and we'll see what we've got. So I think, let's see, the best way to open this Oh, probably from the bottom. All right. I think we got all of them. So we're going to attempt to lift this lid off. And apparently I'm epically failing at this. Okay, I'm challenged. So we're gonna go from the top because I am obviously challenged and can't pull the lid of a box off. Nor can I cut through tape. My goodness. I am definitely challenged tonight. Oh, this is not tape on the top. It's actually like plastic wrap. So that's why it's a little more difficult to cut through. All right, so we're into the box. And um, I'll pull out the first few, first item that I see here on the top. And looks like we have a lingerie wash bag. This appears to be brand new and um, is a nice item to wash your uh, delicates in. So it's a couple bucks, maybe, dollar or so. But 
easy sell. So got one of those. Oh, there's actually another one here on top. Looks like it's supposed to go in this, this bag here, but this is what it looks like. So a nice size laundry wash bag for your delicates. That's really nice. So we got a couple bucks there. Oh, this is, this is sweet. So this is a picture frame and it says some things steal your heart without even trying. And it's got a little paw here on the side of it. This is where you can just clip your picture in. So whatever picture you see fitting. And I love that it's just a paw. Um, so anybody with a dog or a cat could utilize this. So this is probably a couple dollars that it would sell for. All right. We've got Ricola drops. These are sugar-free um, original Swiss herb Ricola drops. So brand new bag of these. It expires, okay, so it expired April 12th of 2019. So just a couple of days ago is when it expired. So that's not good that they're expired. This one um, also same expiration. Looks like we've got several Ricola drops. So we'll go through these fairly quickly. Same expiration, same expiration, and same expiration. But that is one, two, three, four, five bags of Ricola drops there. Then we've got, looks like some gummy fish oil. Um, and these expire March of 2019. So these are actually expired already. Um, but yeah, brand new sealed fish oil. Multi gummy vitamins for kids. Uh, expired February of 19. So it looks like a lot of the medication that's in this box has already expired. Balanced B100 complex expiration May, uh, I'm sorry, March of 2019. So again, another expired item there. We have another um, sundown gummies, uh, expiration February of 19. So that's not good. We're getting a lot of expired items here. Let's pull out something different. Head and shoulders, classic clean. Let's see, this is shampoo. So shampoo doesn't expire. Actually, it does have an expiration date on shampoo. I had no idea. March of 2019. So it looks like a lot of the items that are in this box are shelf pulls from expired items. We've got another gummy fish oil, um, expired item uh, again. Um, this is lavender essential oils aromatherapy. So that's nice. That can be used in a lot of the diffusers and different things. And I love lavender. It's such a calming um, fragrance to just have around the house. and have in the bedroom when you're sleeping, uh, what have you. I do not see an expiration on this at all. So this must not have an expiration date on it. So we should be good to go on this one. Looks like the packaging's a little damaged. Oh, we've got Valentine's. Not real profitable, but super cute for uh, the kiddos. Uh, so this is LOL Surprise, 32 Valentines within. The box is, has a little bit of damage on it, but not too much. It is all still sealed. So maybe a dollar around Valentine's Day. Clinical Solutions Head and Shoulder. Any of this clinical solutions or clinical strength, anything can be rather expensive. Uh, so this is the Head and Shoulders Clinical Solutions. Looks like expired March of 2019. But again, I don't know how important it is with uh, shampoos and conditioners and hair products as far as the expiration date. Some people may have a different feeling about that. Um, you know, I'm more concerned about the medication having an expiration date than the shampoos. But that's just my personal opinion. 
We have another Head & Shoulders uh, shampoo. Again, expired March of 2019. Uh, toothpaste. This box just keeps going on forever and ever. So we have Crest Pro Health Advanced Toothpaste. Looks like the expiration date on this is March of 2019. So again, looks like these items were just shelf pulls from expired items. Oh, we have straws. You can't go wrong with straws. These are great big giant straws here. Brand new box. It looks like the box had been opened. Or not opened, but uh, damaged on the shelf, so 40 smoothie straws. All right. Aussie Shine Touched, I'm sorry, Sun Touch Shine Hairspray, Maximum Hold. And I do not see an expiration date on this. If it does have one, it's in some type of code. So that looks like it's okay. Back to some of the medication that's in here. March 2019. Oh, we've got more Valentine's. Again, LOL. Oh, sorry, didn't have it in the screen. Oh, sorry about that. LOL Valentine's. Another LOL Valentine's. So we've got three of those so far. And then the trolls. Another Valentine. So maybe a dollar, like I said, around Valentine's. We've got a little ways until Valentine's Day comes up, but oh, here's another one. We've got Mickey Valentine's. So we're all set around here for Valentine's Day <laughs> if we needed to give out little Valentine's. That's fun. Refresh Tears. Everything is sealed on this. Again, it expired March of 2019. Uh, refresh Lubricant Eye Gel. This is still sealed in the plastic uh, factory seal that they put around these. And expires April of 19. So this one actually is not yet expired. Um, we are in the month of April, so these would still be good to use um, through the end of the month. Senecott, natural vegetable laxative. Okay, expired March of 2019. It's kind of a bummer that it's all expired. Another Valentine, the Trolls. So we have two of those now. Gummies, vitamin gummies that um, I'm sure they're probably expired as well. It's kind of a bummer. Oh, it's printed on the bottom and I'm blind as a bat. May of 2019, so these are still good. We found some that aren't expired, yay. More toothpaste, Crest. Toothpaste, so we have two tubes of the Crest toothpaste and expired March 19. Some more smoothie straws. So, so far, if all of this medicine wasn't expired, we'd probably be doing a whole lot better than what we're doing. Um, for $48, you know, kind of disappointed that a lot of the medications expired, um, but that's that's the risk. That's the gamble in all of this. Oh, Airborne. So this is the uh, immune system support expired in February of 2019. Bummer. We've got some more shampoo, head and shoulder shampoo. Also expired March of 2019. Surprise, surprise. Look at this, we've got more Valentine's. Ooh, this is a new one, Paw Patrol. And the cars. So those are fun. Ooh, Degree Dry Protectant or Protection Deodorant. Let's see, when did these expire? 
I probably should be wearing my glasses right now. March of 2019. So expired, but again, I would be okay with using deodorant that's expired. That's just me, but some people might think I'm weird and that's crazy, but I don't have a problem with using deodorant that is a one month expired, not a big deal. Another thing of Cinecot. And this one is still good, April of 2019. So I've got a few items that still are within date. Another refresh lubricant eye. I know these things can be pretty expensive, like eye drops and things. I don't know why they're so crazy expensive, but some of that stuff can be like ridiculously expensive. I don't honestly know how much this goes for. Um, this is still in date, April of 2019. So it is still within date, but um, it's gonna expire here pretty soon. But yeah, these are, I, I'm sure these are probably pretty expensive. I don't know though, I'd have to look them up. We got another Senecot, my goodness. If you wanna have, go to the bathroom, we got lots of go to the bathroom stuff. Uh, April of 2019, so still good. We're almost through the box. Oh, this is weird. Ew, gross. Ew. Okay, this says Wibbly Squish Ball. Well, it doesn't look like a ball anymore. It looks like a mushroom or something. That's awfully sad. That is not a ball. Gross. Whew. Okay, that one's going in the trash. That's disgusting. Whew. We have some more Valentines. So we've got lots of these LOL Valentines. And then another Mickey Valentine. Alright, some more Too Faced. Again, probably same expiration. March of 2019. So yeah, same expiration date. We're almost there. We've got just a couple more things. Some more Ricola drops. So we started out with these in the beginning. Uh, this expires April 12th, or expired April 12th of 2019. So we're still in the month of April. So it's just a couple of days expired. But we've got like six or seven bags of the Ricola drops. Another fish oil and um, expired March 2019. So just a month expired now. And I think this is our last, nope, two more items in here. Another Refresh Tears in March of 2019 is when that expired, so a month ago. And then I think the final item in this box is, again, another of the Refresh uh, Lubricant Eye Gel. And uh, this one is still in date, April of 2019. So I've got three of these boxes. Um, so overall, I'm not overwhelmed by the product that was in the box. Like I said, it was a complete gamble. You, I, I, I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what was in here, if some of the items would be in date, if there were an opportunity to be able to resell and make a profit. I don't know that that's gonna happen with this particular box. Um, some of the stuff might just stay here. Some of it I'm just gonna pitch um, or, you know, uh, I, I don't, yeah, like the uh, Valentine's will probably hold back until February of next year and such. So um, not, not overwhelmed by the health and beauty box uh, for $48, but I've got another one that I'm going to do another video in the future. Um, and maybe we'll have a better luck with that second video uh, or second box and hopefully we'll make a profit out of it. But it's a gamble, it's a risk, and that's all part of what, what it is that, um, that you do when you're purchasing something that is liquidated items. So I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend with me. And if you like the video, please take a moment to go below and subscribe. If you wanna see all the videos that come out from me, please click the bell, and that way it'll notify you of any future videos that, um, post as soon as they post them so you can be the first to see them. We'd love to have comments about the box, uh, about the products in the box, uh, any suggestions for future videos. Uh, I'm 
totally open to that. And um, I thank you again so much for watching and take care.